Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyrim. Today I've got a couple of quick mod tweaks, and then we'll get a few errands done in Falkreath and head towards Helgen. So, mod changes. First thing, I've done a small, some small tweaks to trade and barter. A few friends were telling me that I was being... Okay, just a second. I gotta go outside, these people are too noisy. God, this place is noisy. Note to self, don't do episode introductions inside of an inn. They're way too busy and noisy. Much better to do it outside on the streets of Falkreath, I tell ya. Anyways, so, trade and barter. I was told that I was being way too hard on myself, so I've dropped the selling penalty from 70% 70 70 down to 50%. It's still brutal. Um, the amount I can sell things for right now is still next to nothing but there are a bunch of factors that will impact improve it over time for example i get a bonus for knowing my trade and so if i become a well-trained alchemist or blacksmith i can get better prices for those items second trade second item um enb real vision uh is sort of something the missing part of the graphics of the game uh, it was recommend, recommended to me by my brother-in-law, which I thank him for immensely. It just adds that missing layer of finesse over the uh, look of the game. Anyways, I'll be, I've got the ability to tweak some things. Hey, a moonwalker. Nice. Um, I've got the ability to tweak it, so if things are too dark, too bright, whatever, please let me know, because I have, well, let me show you, a lot of things that I can tweak to make this look good. Anyways... Not going to touch any of that right now, but that gives me a massive amount of control over the graphics of the area. Ooh, bit of morning fog coming out. Last but not least, I'm going to do this last one on screen. Um, is a new one. It's called Bounty Gold. I added this a couple of um, episodes ago, but I didn't get around to configuring it. What this does is lets me tweak the default settings for bounties so that the fairness of killing harder enemies basically that there's a more reasonable amount of gold when you kill nasty things like oh i don't know dragons so let's say 500 gold for a dragon because come on and this improves the amount of gold you get basically on a per level as you level up basically the gold rewards improve a little so anyways i'm just adding a few just a small amount. It'll just make the it'll make the gold variable. It'll also make these bounty missions more reasonable to do later in the game. Whereas in the default game, um, I always found they became almost a waste of time because all you ever got was 100 gold for the stupid job. And going and killing a dragon for 100 gold, not really reasonable. All right, man. What is it? <laughs> Silly game. Yeah, there must be an error in the pathing system here. Okay, well, no big deal. He'll live. So, jobs I need to do today. I am not caring all that much, so I need to hit an alchemist. And I need to hit a uh, blacksmith. Another Maybe get a couple day. of small jobs I done. Hope. But let's see what we got here. This is the blacksmith. So, let's see. What did I need to do with the blacksmith? There was a couple of things on my list. I can't remember what they were now. Alright, well. Hmm. Need something? I do, but you're not the blacksmith. Let's see, is there anything I can craft using the... F oh, I remember now. I remember. I need to use the tanning rack to uh, make some leather. And when I make what some leather... No, it's not in there. It's a misc item. Not a clean pelt. I need actual leather. And that will let me make a rain cloak. So that I can switch out my cloak in the rain. Now, I think almost all of this has to be done. Let's just see what load. Good, but the finest so, weapons and armor. So we got for sale here. No, 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 not for sale. To sell. That's we're keeping everything you see here. 
Oh, right, I'm wearing a mage's armor right now. That's right. That's why. Hmm. I'm actually kind of low on gear at the moment. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. All right. And... If you work in the forge, remember, it isn't just the hammer that strikes the blade. It's the anvil as well. Only a hearty soul travels the road these days. Hmm. Only inside quiet. the gates. Much of folk withhold this wilderness, and there's plenty of trouble to be had. Good to know. I was Dengir's personal guard for years. I risked my hide more than once to protect him. Why would I do that? For money? Because I swore an oath? No. It was because he was a good man and a true friend. A true Nord places loyalty and honor above all else. Interesting. That steel's worth every second. Remember that. <sighs> Sounds like an awful lot of work. Right, right. It's not done through there, it's done through. The abilities, survival skills, and I can craft myself a hide travel cloak. This will be a... I now have a weather, a, a rainproof cloak, which I should probably wear it at wear down here while well, I'm down here in the south. Let's see, where to go? robes hide travel cloak there we are switch that from the fur cloak but now I have one that will fit both say whoa is cold, but a long night work in the forge is enough to warm any man's bones oh hello right. there what can I do for you blades gauntlets I can forge anything you need hmm. you look a little young to be a blacksmith I'm Lord's Apprentice, although I've been his for less than a season. Before that, I was with Adriana Venich in Whiterun, and before that, Baron in Solitude. I'm on a sort of pilgrimage, you see. When I'm finished, my family expects me to return to Cyrodiil and take over the forge. My name's Isabel, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Crazy. <sighs> Alright. Until next time. Next stop. Uh, the alchemist is the really important one. I really, really need to get some of these potion items. And more importantly, I need to get some mana potions. Because that's been a bit of an issue recently. Greetings. Someone new? Perhaps someone looking for me to mix something up for them? Don't let the shop's name frighten you away. I have plenty of reliable tonics and healing potions to sell. Why is your why name your store Grave Concoctions? That's a weird I thing. I know, it's a bit strange. Not exactly a name to bring comfort to the sick and ailing who come to buy a poultice or salve. But what you must understand about Falkreef is that our town is defined, for better or worse, by the large and ancient cemetery here. That's why the inn is called Dead Man's Drink, the farm is called Corpse Light Farm, and so on. I suppose it's sort of a running joke. Hmm. May I use your alchemy lab? Long as you clean up. You know how to use it, right? Mix a couple ingredients together, see what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Of course you do. But thank you. All right, then. All right, where is that lad? Where is it? I know there's one in here somewhere. Ah, there it is, hiding behind her. Okay. Give me a second here, and I will see you in a moment. And welcome back. Don't let the shop's name frighten you away. I have plenty of reliable tonics and healing potions to sell. That's Call nice. Call upon me if I can be of any service. That's nice. We'll just head out now and take care of a few things. I don't like it here. There's too many oh, and bugs. it's raining. Again, there were a lot of insects here, weren't there? Uh, anyways, so I crafted a whole bunch of potions. Uh, some of them quite good. A few fortify magicas, some restore, restore magicas, that sort of stuff. Some healing, a couple stamina potions, a bunch of other stuff. I sold off most of my poisons to uh, 
the uh, Apothecary. Got actually quite a good price for them. Some of them were reasonably good, and I guess I know my trade well enough. Because I leveled. And I am going to put more points into Magicka, because I keep running out of mana. And I think I will save the perk for now and make a decision on it later, because right now I don't think I really need anything at this instant. So, I'm well, relatively lightly equipped. I'm wearing a rainproof, relatively rainproof cloak. So, I don't like it here. There's too many I think we'll head to Helgen. I mean, I could have looked for odd jobs here, but it's almost like the odd jobs aren't triggering because I'm not technically... Um, uh, it's possible the game doesn't behave properly when you haven't started the traditional first quest, if you know what I mean. Oh, I'm almost out of arrows. Am I really that low on arrows? Let's see. I have six iron arrows and... 62 steel bolts, which won't work with this thing. Unfortunate. Well, I guess I'm going to be using fire here if I have to do any fights beyond uh, something lightweight. But we'll see. Nothing like a nice walk in the rain. No issue at all. So why do I feel the need to go to Helgen? Well, I'm going to call this my grand tour of Skyrim. You know, it's an interesting... Oh, flickering candles, that's cool, eh? You know, it's a, it's a pretty country. I'm exploring a bit before I settle into my studies at uh, the Mages College. What do we have here? We have a bridge over the road. Oh, there's somebody up there. And I don't think they're friendly. Just a hunch. It's amazing how much crap they let their uh, citizens get away, their, these barbarians get away with. You know, just around the corner from Falkreath's main gate is a... Oh. What you doing? Oh, okay, that answers that question. Wants me dead. set off. I wonder if they... S okay, well, that was not too much help. Are you guys coming at me? You coming at me? Where are you at, you buggers? Make sure that's set up right. That should be flames in both hands. Good stuff. I know there are more barbarians around here. Whoa! There goes the other one. Not bad. Not bad. Have to say. Could have done better. You know, it could have actually hurt me. And hit me. But, hey, you know, it's a learning process. Granted, if you don't survive to learn, which I am going to ensure that these gentlemen do not. Theoretically, that's my goal anyways. 
Where'd they all go? I know I shot one, but where'd the rest of them? Guys? Don't you want to play? What do we have here? There's a cabin up here. Maybe this is where they went. It's funny, I didn't see any dead bodies down there either. Pine Watch. Save the game here. And we're going in. Oh, it's locked. Is this really the first lo pickable lock I've encountered this entire game? That's kind of hilarious. Oh, so close. Ah. Not exactly the level of lock I Oh! Right. That should make it a little easier. pull this off or not. Okay. I could really stand to have three lockpicks left before I move on. So, let's, uh, that was weird. There were guys shooting at me, weren't there? Dying. Dying is bad. Let's find one of my crappiest little... That's a nasty wolf. Oh, there's one of them. Yes. Red wolf. That would explain it. Oh, well, there's one. Let me all... Might as well take it all. Alright, give me a second. I gotta take this way. Alright. That's a completely cleaned up mess. I could have sworn there were two guys here. I don't know what happened to the other one. Did he get caught in his own rockfall or something? 
Well, I could obviously spend ages here trying to figure out what's going on. What time of day is it? 6.45 p.m. already. Man, either I'm really bad at keeping time, or it's just been a really busy day. Oh, I spent half the day making potions. That's what went wrong. Well, at least I got a few more arrows now. He had a couple on him. Let's see, Helgen. We're going to keep following the road. Hopefully this guy is friendly. Seems to be. Put my gloves back on like a smart person. I don't think I have any gloves that will improve. So if I have Magicka regen... Not really, yeah. Not really anything else that's going to help me yet. Ooh, hungry. Let's have a snack. Cheese. More cheese. I forgot to get water. Alright. Well, as soon as we get down to a river, we'll pick up some... Uh, some uh, materials. An Imperial Patrol Dog. That's kind of cool. I'm going to make sure I'm going the right way. It would be... Yeah, I'm going the right way. It would really suck if I ran into something like a werewolf up here. further and around the corner, we'll be on our way to Helgen. I have no idea what I'm going to see when I get here. I don't think I've ever actually been to Helgen post-Dragon Attack. This is rather cool. Find out what destroyed Helgen. Okay. Oh! Oh god, that scared the crap out of me. Honestly scared the crap out of me. Well, that was freaky. Did anybody survive that? Man. That's what I need to find out now. Let's go inside and see what's left of, uh, see what's left of Helgen.